Welcome to the NADFL channel. The report from the Miami Herald on Tuesday afternoon left many Dolphins fans anxious for the coming weeks. The team reportedly shares interest of a union with Green Bay Packers running back Aaron Jones in free agency this offseason just one year after the team's running back investments completely flopped and the team continued to underwhelm on the ground. But should we really be surprised? No, not really. And there are a few reasons why. First and foremost, regardless of whether or not the Dolphins were forced into a high running back usage due to the limited pass catching weapons or not, running back Miles Gaskin was very much a featured piece of the Dolphins' offense in 2020. So much so that despite missing six games between a knee injury and a bout with COVID-19, Gaskin finished first on the team in touches 183 in 10 games. The next closest player, Salvin Ahmed with 86. The next closest player after that? Matt Breida with 68 touches. Miami's backs left their fingerprints all over the offense. And sure, with better receivers, that won't skew as hard in the backfield's favor as it did in 2020. We should expect the Dolphins to show the same restraint and jurisdiction in feeling out whether or not Jones is the right addition to this roster. Miami can proceed with their 2021 NFL draft plans without the pressure of investing a premier pick in the running back position, which does admittedly feel like it would fly in the face of this team's roster-building approach. Miami, in two drafts under Chris Greer and Brian Flores, has invested their top 100 selections into the following. Two quarterbacks, Josh Rosen via trade and Tua Tungavailoa. Three offensive linemen, Michael Deiter, Austin Jackson and Robert Hunt. Two defensive linemen, Christian Wilkins and Raekwon Davis. Two secondary players, CB Noah Igbenogany and SAF Brandon Jones. No wide receivers. No running backs. No linebackers. All the positions Miami finds themselves most in need of now, but thankfully those positions are easier to stumble upon than standouts in the trenches, in the secondary, mainly at cornerback and at quarterback. So an addition of Jones to the roster, particularly on a two- or three-year deal, allows the Dolphins to proceed into yet another loaded class without the pressure to take low-value positions with high-value picks. When you add all these variables up, we really shouldn't be able to say we're surprised the Dolphins are keen on adding a free agent back that should give Miami a surefire standout at a high-volume position in the offense.